17 at Central Park, but we'll get plenty of sunshine again by lunchtime. Still below freezing, but as the day progresses, we are going to make a run at freezing 32 by 4 p.m. and a quiet evening ahead. It is not going to be quiet the next few days. High pressure is helping us out for now, but we're watching a front approach by Thursday. It's wind, it's rain and a lot of wind actually. So we're going to talk about the potential for wind damage, even some thunderstorms with this and the changes for the weekend in the 10 day forecast. Maria, thank you so much at 440. Maria LaRosa looking at our weather. So Maria, I mean 17 degrees. I, I mean, Maria, 17 degrees. I mean, yes. <laughs> I, I mean, think 17. It's 17. <laughs> I confirm, I concur, and right. yes, I sense that bitterness in your tone, <laughs> right? We're, yeah, we're we're a little ready to move on, I think, of to spring. Uh, we've got that in the forecast for sure, and I can say with confidence here, at least in the next 10 days, this is by far the coldest morning and the coldest day that we'll have to deal with. So uh, it is clear, though, it is a beautiful view of the city skyline. You can see a little brightness there. We have that nearly full snow moon that's officially full tomorrow, 17 degrees degrees right now at Central Park, 16 in Islip, just eight in Poughkeepsie, and it does feel a little bit chillier than that when the breeze kicks in. It's not going to be overly windy today, but again, just enough. So as you plan what you're wearing today, plan on it feeling from time to time in the teens and the 20s as we make our way to freezing. So about five to almost 10 degrees warmer in some cases compared to yesterday. 32 for the high, bright and sunny, wind chills again at times in the teens and the 20s. We'll have clear skies. Five degrees, but that bright moon will be up and shining through tomorrow morning. A light north wind, so not much of a wind chill. But we are going to really start feeling the changes tomorrow. In the mid 40s, still aiming for 60 on Thursday, but we do get a knock back to reality here on Friday as we fall through the 40s during the day. So this front that's going to bring us the warmth and eventually the cooler weather, it's not coming quietly. Winds will be a huge, huge concern here. So already pretty gusty tomorrow evening. By uh, Thursday evening, we're talking talking about consistent gusts for a few hours here in that 30 to 40 mile per hour range and then overnight Thursday into Friday morning, maybe in that 40 to 50 mile per hour range. So we're counting on the possibility of some wind damage, maybe some power outages. And with that rainfall and the gusty winds, we could also get the lightning and the thunder. So this is really coming in with a punch here and the good news. One above zero in White Plains. It feels like 10 in the city, but we have clear skies. We're going to get that sunshine again and get a few more degrees compared to yesterday. So that gets us to 32 by this afternoon. A quiet winter evening, but clear and chilly down into the 20s and we stay dry. We stay clear through the overnight tonight. All right, so clear and dry. That's a good start weather wise. How about today's wintry weather? <laughs> yes, but we have clear skies, so we've got that and that bright moon behind the banner right there. So we're off to a good start in that regard. It is chilly, sort of the last frigid morning for a while. I'll tell you that 18 by 7 a.m. will be in the upper 20s by midday with lots of sunshine, just enough of a breeze that the wind chills from time to time will keep it feeling like the teens and 20s and we'll be there again with clear skies overnight tonight. We're still on track for the big warm up up near 60 on Thursday. It's a return to reality by the weekend, but how about taking a peek into next week and as we head into March? Yes, eastern half of the country likely seeing above average temperatures. I'll show you what that means for us in the 10 day forecast. Maria, thank you. even more. The air is so dry, so that visibility is fantastic. You got a, a glimpse of that with that beautiful shot of the city. You could see for miles, but yes, you have this bright moon. It's on its way to setting when it rises again tomorrow or, or tonight. You'll get another chance to see it officially full snow moon tomorrow. That's the full moon for February. You can see a little bit of that fresh snow in Nassau County, Manhasset right now. It is cold enough for all that snow to stick around another day. We've got 16 in Levittown, Hempstead at 16. That's the number in Belrose. Green Lawn at 15 with Midwood down to 19. We're sitting at 17 in Central Park. A few single digits out there. Clinton and Sussex as well as Poughkeepsie and Monticello. Just a hint of a breeze from time to time. We'll keep those wind chills occasionally today in the teens and the 20s as we head up close to freezing this afternoon. West winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Clear skies again tonight. It is going to be chilly but not quite as bitter. 25 and you'll get those moonlit skies again. Take advantage. It's going to be beautiful. 46 tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon and we'll start off mostly sunny. We'll start to see the clouds on the increase and those winds really begin to pick up. So it's quiet weather.
today and tomorrow, but anything but quiet as we head into Thursday because of this cold front. Winds really going to be an issue starting not just tomorrow evening, but definitely by Thursday evening. The front comes through, and yes, while we cool down, it's closer to averages for February. But as I mentioned, it's not coming quietly. Very breezy winds out of the south starting tomorrow, really picking up in intensity as we get through Thursday evening. Consistent gusts, 30, 40 plus miles per hour, and as that front approaches and begins to move through, we're talking for eastern Long Island, coastal spots, maybe 40, 50 plus mile per hour wind gusts overnight into early on Friday. So there is that chance for some wind damage. It's coming along with some heavy rainfall, maybe a few rumbles of thunder. So it'll be wild Thursday night into Friday. Then Nine more days to get their bids in. There you go. I wonder what we could get for our old resume tapes. We can give them away, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's I might see. have to pay someone else That's to take right. mine. That's right. Clear skies out there now, guys. We have one more really frigid morning ahead before we start. Nine more days to get their bids in. There you go. I wonder what we could get for our old resume tapes. We can give them away, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I might have to pay someone else That's to take right. mine. That's right. <laughs> Clear skies out there now, guys. We have one more really frigid morning ahead. Before in at 11, New Rochelle 15. Currently, we're at 17 at Central Park. Just nine in Poughkeepsie. So with a little bit of a breeze from time to time, it's enough for a wind chill to be reported. So we've got a wind chill of just one in White Plains. Feels closer to 10 with that breeze in the city and Eastport and a wind chill of just six in Bridgeport. That is frigid. We get the sunshine back today and just a little bit warmer than yesterday. 32 by 4 p.m. and it'll be a quiet but chilly winter evening. Temperatures back down in the 20s around dinner time and we stay clear overnight. And that is today's weather. How about traffic? We could use to get us in the mood for all these Winter Olympics with the snow and the ice is the weather today. Here's That's Maria LaRosa. Right. Yeah, we're not adding to it today. It's, it's whatever's there is going to stick around. It's pretty cold, but we have crystal clear skies and that gorgeous, bright, nearly full moon. The full snow moon officially tomorrow. 17 out the door, but it feels like 10 with just a breeze from time to time. And as you get ready for the day, count on all of that sunshine. 29 degrees by 1 o'clock. We go through the rest of the afternoon. 32 by 4 p.m. And we stay in the 20s heading into the dinner hour. That warm up is on the way. We start meteorological spring. March 1st. How about feeling like mid April? That's what we have for Thursday. Big changes coming. I'll show you that and time out the rain that comes along with it in the 10 day. Maria, thank you so much. 541 now still to come. Stay and stay over the overnight and make it into a more ski community like you have in the Berkshires or out in, in yeah, Colorado. Make a weekend out of it or a long weekend. That's out their, of it. exactly their message, Maria. Make a weekend out of it. But it's interesting to talk about uh, snow. It, they just need the cold. It just need the cold, right? Uh, there's a, the, I think the ideal temperature from what I've read is in the upper 20s, but there's also the moisture content. There's a right. whole a bunch of factors. Because you don't want to make ice. You don't want to make ice. You don't want to make ice. Yeah, uh, but we've had a little help here and there, a dash of snow from time to time, and then a little bit. Time to time, and then a little bit more than a dash, at least that one time. Uh, but we still have on the ground what came this weekend. This is looking at Port Jefferson via Earth Cam, and we're still going to see the ground. Around, uh, covered in snow today as temperatures stay closer below freezing and that bright beautiful moon on its way to setting. So yes, cold enough. Let's check out Suffolk County, Mount Sinai, 15, Smithtown 2, Bayshore as well. And that cold spot, West Hampton Beach, just at one above. 17 at Central Park, we're at 9 in Poughkeepsie. Just a little bit of a wind chill, not just this morning, but as we get into the afternoon. Winds won't be crazy, but when that breeze kicks in, it'll feel more like the teens and 20s versus the low 30s. West winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Clear skies, hold on tonight. It'll be chilly for sure, 25, but not quite. It's brutal. We'll have those beautiful moonlit skies with the moon coming up later on today again. 46 tomorrow, so then you really start to feel the change. We'll see sunny skies early, but we're going to start to see the winds kick in, and that is going to be ahead of the cold front. That's what allows that surge to 60 degrees on Thursday. The colder weather, cooler, I'll say, by Friday, back into the 40s. So big, big changes. It's not going to happen quietly at all. The wind's really picking up tomorrow evening, but especially as we get into Thursday evening and Thursday night, consistently seeing those gusts. Suddenly, that's 40 to almost 50 miles per hour for a few hours before that front clears. As this is coming through, it's also coming along with rain and maybe a few thunderstorms as well. So heads up, there may be potential for wind damage as we get into early on Friday. Talking about the rain, it has still been Maybe enough to watch.
wash away some of the snow that may still be around. Now by the weekend, yes, we're up closer to averages for February, so it'll be dry, nice February weekend. And then we make the turn again, back above average, and back into the mid and upper 50s, and this time, for a couple of days in a row, also along with some rain. All right, 549, that's your Sunday, Adele Harrington Glory. Possibility. Okay. You got to believe, right, Bruce? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Bruce. To the ice following that doping controversy. Still not resolved, though. You're also going to see two man bobsled along with men's speed skating. All right, and to get us in the mood for all these Winter Olympics with the snow and the ice <laughs> is the weather today. Here's That's Maria Larissa. Right. Yeah, we're not adding to it today. It's, it's whatever's there is going to stick around. It's pretty cold, but we have crystal clear skies and that gorgeous, bright, nearly full moon, the full snow moon officially tomorrow. 17 out the door, but it feels like 10 with just a breeze from time to time. And as you get ready for the day, count on all of that sunshine 29 degrees 45 but we're going to start feeling more like mid April into the 60s in just a few days it comes at a price wind and rain I'll talk about that coming up in the 10 day forecast Maria thank you so much brawl at a New Jersey mall has prompted an internal affairs investigation into how police respond Beating your ex to the wolves the odd Valentine's Day auction that is actually all for a good cause and if 42 percent of the mega draw can be blamed on global warning, warming from the burning of fossil fuels. So what a serious situation there, Jen. And Maria, I was just telling Michael, I was at Lake Powell over the summer, and it's astonishing when you look at the water level where it is now compared to what it's been in the past. It is heartbreaking. And a part of the reason that uh, why, the way they've been able to tell it's been 1,200 years, they have the tree ring records, right. which is a remarkably accurate way to talk about climate and precipitation and temperature. So it's heartbreaking. Uh, you can see from this graphic, it is the entire West really that's in some level of drought and we've seen some improvement overall in the exceptional drought category but obviously uh, not a really is the, the western half of the country. We're starting to see some of the yellow the abnormally dry level here creep into our area and in the short term it has been certainly a snow drought especially west of the city right a lot of the snowstorms that we've had or the uh, higher accumulations have been across central and south Jersey Long Island not so much to the north and west. We are not going to see any snow today. It is going to be dry, but crystal clear visibility. Look at this high definition from EarthCam, and you can see all of the twinkling lights and the brightening skies. It is frigid, the last really frigid morning this week for sure. 16 out the door at Central Park, 15 in Islip, 12 in Poughkeepsie, just four in Sussex. From time to time, you'll have that wind chill in the teens and 20s as we get into the afternoon. 32 for the high, so a little bit warmer than yesterday, but lots of sun. Clear skies overnight, 25. Enjoy that bright, beautiful moon. High pressure is helping us out. We'll start tomorrow mostly sunny, but that front approaching brings back the clouds. Very windy conditions heading into Thursday night. We're talking consistent gusts 40 plus miles per hour. And while we stay dry most of the day on Thursday, not the case Thursday night into Friday, we're still looking at about a half an inch to maybe an inch of rainfall, but the winds will be a big part of it. It does bring back the seasonably cool weather heading into the weekend. And for us, that means temperatures back into the low and mid 40s. So cold front comes through, but it's not the Arctic front that we had just a few days ago. And in fact, we take a quick turnaround here by Tuesday into Wednesday. We're starting a stretch of highs in the mid and upper 50s. So we're going to wrap up February really on the mild side. And it is another round of wet weather that comes along with that one. And it all went downhill. With all those fires to put out. <laughs> It's a much better way to work. Agreed. Field in for Darlene Rodriguez, Adele Caballeros tracking the commuter alerts. But let's get started with Storm Team 4's Maria La Rosa here with today's forecast. Very apropos for the Winter Olympics. It is indeed. Uh, we've got a taste of spring, though, just a few days away. So we've got one more now in Wayne and just a little bit of a breeze from time to time. I'll show you the wind chills. It's 16 on the thermometer in the city, Newark and Merrick, 15 in Islip, 9 in Belmar. Feels like one above zero with the wind factored in and a wind chill of just nine right now in the city. So be prepared for that chill this morning. Grab the sunglasses, though, too. We've got a lot of sunshine headed our way. 32 by 4 p.m., a quiet but cold evening ahead. We dip back down into the 20s by about late dinner time. Clear skies overnight, too, but it will be chilly in the 20s. 
All right, Adele, not a warm ride in, that's for sure. Athletes coming home, we love to right. hear from them. Right. All right, let's check in now with Maria La Rosa with a gold medal worthy <laughs> sunrise. Uh, it is gorgeous, the view from Times Square. It's gonna be cold on the plaza, I can tell you that. Right now, temperatures at Central Park in the teens, wind chills in the single digits. It is a wee day, but bright sunshine, and we'll make a run out freezing. 32 today as opposed to the mid-20s yesterday. But another cold night ahead. So the temperature turn, believe it or not, starts today. We're headed to 60 still by Thursday, but that's when we have to talk about rain and maybe even some thunder and a lot of wind, gusty wind, damaging winds potentially as this front clears by the end of the week. I'll talk about that and what it leaves behind for us this weekend in the 10-day forecast. Okay, Maria, thanks. 639 now. Doing the story is special for me because I learned to ski at Hunter like so many of my friends came up from the city, and that's where we started. And I was hoping maybe you'd learn some new skills as well. <laughs> no, the, the that's court, about as good as it gets. The 1080. <laughs> I have confidence in you, Michael. I think you could do no, it. No cork for me, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Just one cork, the one you pop with the wine <laughs> that's in the lodge that's it. That's the after, 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 that's after the, ski. the opera ski. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we heard you talk about making snow. We had a little help from Mother Nature the last couple days. It's still on the ground as we take a look at Port Jefferson from Earth Cam and you can see the brightening sky and a little bit of earth shadow right there. It is cold enough for that snow to stick around a little bit longer. We have Green Lawn at 14 degrees, Hempstead 16, Elmhurst at 18 with Bushwick at 20 sitting at 16 still in Central Park. Poughkeepsie has gone up a couple degrees here, 12 now, but a few single digits, Clinton, Sussex at four. So just a hint of a breeze every now and then. We'll cut that 32 down to feels like in the teens and the 20s. So you still need to bundle up. It's a chilly day ahead, but lots of sunshine, bright skies. Potentially some damaging wind gusts here as we get into late Thursday overnight into early early on Friday and at this point we're also seeing the rain and we're looking at anywhere from half an inch to maybe as much as an inch of rain coming along with this would not be surprised with the front the way it is that we could get a couple of rumbles of thunder in here. Most of the steady heavy rain should be out by Friday morning but the temperatures will be dropping through the day as the wind